For my lesson, I taught my friend Courtney about Gypsy Jazz. Um, one of the biggest challenges of the lesson was that she did not listen to a lot of jazz prior to this, and it made it hard for me to describe the differences between jazz and Gypsy Jazz because they're very subtle and there's a lot of nuance involved in the, the Gypsy Jazz genre. Another challenge I faced was that she did not know a lot about chord scale relationships. So when we went to play some examples of Gypsy Jazz, it was hard for her to join in because she didn't know very much about improvisation. I definitely learned a lot from teaching the lesson. One of the biggest things being that... Um, as a music teacher, one of the most important things for your students is to listen to music because if she would have listened to more music, she definitely would have understood the genre a lot more, I think, than from me just talking about it. I only played her one example, and looking back on it, I think I should have had her listen to a lot more of it because I think it, it just illustrates the differences a lot more. I also, l looking back, would have liked to play some gypsy jazz and then the same song in just a normal, regular, like, jazz swing style and have her tell me what the differences are and discover those on her own to help her cons better construct her knowledge instead of me just telling her facts. And I felt like my lesson went a little more of me just relaying information to her. And I think it would have been a lot more effective for me to be uh, more constructivist in my practices. And I, I didn't think of that as much in a one-on-one -on -one lesson setting. I really enjoyed teaching the lesson and I hope to teach more in the future.